Wow, such a nice weather today. The sun is up and the clouds are beautiful. Have you ever heard someone say clouds are just water vapor? Well, next time you'll be able to correct them. While it's true that clouds contain water, they actually are not made of water vapor because if they were, you wouldn't be able to see them. The water that makes up clouds is in liquid or ice form. So basically, clouds are made up of tiny droplets or frozen crystals of water. Sometimes clouds are white and puffy. Sometimes they are dark and cover the entire sky. Although there are many different types of clouds, there are four main types. And these are cirrus. Cirrus clouds are high-level clouds that are thin and wispy. They appear during good weather. Stratus. Stratus clouds are low-level clouds that are flat and tend to cover much of the sky. They are gray in color and may produce light rain or drizzle. Cumulus. Cumulus clouds are low to mid-level clouds. They are big white, puffy, and beautiful clouds. They usually mean good weather unless they grow really tall and turn into cumulonimbus clouds. Nimbus. Nimbus clouds are clouds that already has rain or snow falling from it. These clouds are dark and seen during a thunderstorm along with thunder and lightning. So how do clouds form? A cloud forms when air is heated by the sun. As it rises, it slowly cools and it reaches the saturation point and water condenses, forming a cloud. As long as the cloud and the air that it's made of is warmer than the outside air around it, it floats. There are different types of clouds depending on its level. High-level clouds such as cirrus, Cirrocumulus and Cirrostratus form above 20,000 feet. Because it is colder higher up, these clouds are mostly made of ice crystals. Middle level clouds such as Alto Stratus and Alto Cumulus form between 6,500 and 20,000 feet high. They may be made up of water droplets or ice crystals. Low level clouds such as stratus, stratocumulus, and nimbus stratus form below 6,500 feet. They are often composed of mostly water droplets. Also, we have vertical clouds such as cumulus and cumulonimbus. These clouds are very tall and may span many of the cloud levels. Did you know that there is a cloud that forms on the ground? It is called a fog. Some clouds you see in the sky might be from airplanes, and these are called contrails. Even though clouds float in the air, a single cumulus cloud can weigh hundreds of tons. Why clouds are important? Depending on the characteristics and height in the atmosphere, Clouds can affect the Earth's energy balance, and they also help regulate the climate. Here are just some of the few functions of clouds in the Earth atmosphere system. Clouds can block, reflect, and scatter incoming solar radiation from the sun and absorb some of Earth's infrared energy. Clouds serve as a way to redistribute extra heat from the equator toward the poles. Clouds are an essential part of the water cycle. All precipitation comes from clouds. The type of cloud can indicate various atmospheric processes such as turbulence and surface heating. Stay bright!